Oh hi! My name is Elon Osborne, and I like to talk about movies, audio, and music. And you might be on the verge of saying it's high time I upgrade from listening to movies and television through the awful speakers built into my TV. Well, congratulations on starting your home theater journey. But before you decide to get that soundbar you've been eyeing online or at your local retail store, consider these two options as well. One. The Fives from Klipsch are in a league all their own, being literally the only speakers in its price point that offers HDMI connection to your TV so that you can stream audio from your TV to the speakers via ARC. Audio return channel. But even if your TV is older and doesn't have an HDMI port labeled with ARC, the Fives have an unrivaled amount of inputs on the rear of the primary speaker, including a phono input to connect your turntable to listen to your vinyl collection, and an optical input to connect your older TVs. But they even support Bluetooth for wireless music streaming from your mobile device. But one of the main reasons I suggest the Fives as a great soundbar alternative is the subwoofer output. Yeah you can connect any old subwoofer to it for a more cinematic experience than just a soundbar alone. The audio quality from the Fives is fantastic for what you pay for. You can get them through basically any online retailer for around $500, give or take. If you add a Klipsch R10SW for around $200, then you have a fantastic 2.1 home theater system for $700 or less, depending on sale prices, etc. The only downside to the Fives is that it's one and done. There's no way to upgrade or use these speakers with any larger surround sound system. So option number two is to get some good old fashioned wired speakers, a subwoofer, and a receiver. Although, if you're wanting to get into Dolby Atmos, since it seems to be a common household name nowadays, I would suggest getting a seven channel receiver because a baseline Atmos system needs at least seven channels, since you have your five bed layer speakers, subwoofer, and two high channels for a more immersive 3D audio experience. But don't think you need to get all those speakers at once and break the bank. Like I mentioned a minute ago, even if you get a seven channel receiver, you can still start small with a 2.1 system that consists of two bookshelf or tower speakers and a subwoofer. With the Klipsch RP600M Mark II speakers out now, the OG RP600Ms are a steal of a deal and still sound incredible. Just FYI, in the Klipsch line of speakers, if a model says R something, that's their baseline reference series. The RP series, or reference premiere, is a step above that. So owning a pair of RP600Ms and a subwoofer would be a killer 2.1 setup. So with a pair of RP600Ms at about $400 a pair, an R10SW subwoofer for $200, and a seven channel Sony STR-DH790 for 400. Sure, $1,000 is not the cheapest alternative to a soundbar, but this way you have a system you can expand on. A few months down the road, get a center channel so you have more precise dialogue. A few months after that, add some surrounds so you have more encompassing surround sound in general. And a few months after that, get some speakers to mount high on the wall or ceiling for your Atmos height channels for even more immersion. You can mix and match speaker brands or prices all you want to better fit your budget. And honestly, the sky's the limit beyond that. There are so many ways to skin this cat. So these are just two suggestions that might just be right for your situation, depending on if you want a one and done solution or plan on building and expanding your home theater over time. The choice is yours. And there you have it. Thank you for joining me on this quick soundbar alternative guide. Have you considered this option over a soundbar? Do you plan on growing and upgrading your system over time? Let's start a conversation, people. As always, please be kind to each other out there. Don't just watch TV and movies, experience them. And of course, always be listening.